everyone. I'm going to change little Sydney today and put him into his Easter outfit. Um, I changed Marianne yesterday and I'll show her later. And I'm going to tell you one of my life stories because it's been a while since I've done that. But before I do that, I'll show you what I'm going to change him into. I'm going to change him into a little light blue bodysuit. Some light blue bond socks and his little white tippy toey shoes. And this is the outfit he actually came home to me in. It's a lovely little traditional baby romper. And it's blue and white check and it's got a little white bunny rabbit on the top of it sitting on some green grass. And it's got a white Peter Pan collar with blue and white check around the edge and little short sleeves with a little bit of white trim around them. And it's got a lovely hat that goes with them in the blue and white check. And it's got white piping round it and it's got a little... Um, Oh, what are these called? I can't think. Um, it's got a little lip on the front to make it look like a cap rather than a bonnet. So I'm going to pop him into that. And I'm going to take him out of this lovely one-piece outfit. He's still got his bunnies in the bay and he's going to keep that for Easter. So I'll get him changed out. And I was going to tell you a funny story, actually, something that happened um, a while ago when I was living up in Yorkshire. I was actually hooked on playing The Sims, the game. There you go, sweet boy. Let's get you out of this. And um, my husband and son were both working um, then. And... There he is, little sweet boy. Let's just change this. He's had this on a little while, so I'll just change him out of that and check his nappy. Yeah, there you go, darling. Let's get your arm through. And they were working, and it was like the first day that... Because my son had been working um, for the... My, my husband, rather, had been working for the civil service for a while. And he got... Um, there was a post there, and he told my son about it. And my son decided to go for it and he got a job there as well. Before that, we've both been playing The Sims. Let's just sort your nappy out, darling. Um, I can't remember if it, I think it was The Sims 2. Can't remember now, but I was absolutely addicted to it and so was my son. Anyway, he got a job and it was the first day that they were both away from the house. There you go. That's tightened it up a bit, darling. It got a bit loose, hadn't it? Yeah. There he is, sweet boy. <laughs> Beautiful boy, aren't you? Yes, you are. And um, I thought to myself, after they'd gone off to work and I'd had my breakfast and tidied up and everything, I thought, oh, I could go up to the bedroom and play The Sims for a little while and get my family on a little bit, you know. Before I knew it, it was lunchtime. My two dogs who'd come upstairs with me, they'd reminded me it was time for lunch. Up you come, sweetie. And I went down and had some lunch. And I thought to myself, well... I could go back up and do some more on my sims. Um, there's nobody here to say I can't play it all day. So I thought, mm, I'll go up and play for a little while longer. And what do you think, Sydney? Mm -hmm. Mummy was naughty, wasn't she? Yes. I didn't do any housework. I was just playing the sims. I was totally addicted to it. I must have made terrible. Anyway, I went upstairs, you know, let the dogs out and everything and sorted a few things out. And I made some potatoes ready because we were having a pie for tea. And I'd made some gravy and, you know, done all the jobs I needed to do. And it was all on the stove ready. Up you come, darling. 
and um, so I went up with full intention of just playing for an hour. <laughs> yes, before I knew it, it was nearly time for the men to come home. So I shot downstairs and um, put the pie in the oven and up you come, sweetie. Put the pie in the oven and turn the potatoes on and, you know, let the dogs out so they could have another wee, laid the table, did all that type of thing. And I thought, hmm, well, I've just got to a crucial bit with one of my little toddlers because I always had families with loads of babies um, and I wanted to get the toddler on a little bit more. So I thought, well... They're on the way back, but I could, you know, everything's going. I've only got to warm the gravy up. I'll, um, I'll just pop up and finish that off. The next thing I know, the smoke alarm's going off. <gasps> what on earth is happening? Why is the smoke alarm going off? So I go shooting downstairs to see why. And I hadn't turned the potatoes on. I'd turned the gravy on, the pan with the gravy in. And, of course, it had boiled, boiled over, spat everywhere. It was all over the stove, all up the tiles. Oh, it was terrible. It was really bad. There was, there was gravy everywhere. And the pan was burnt. The bottom of the pan was burnt. Over you go, darling. Let's do your, let's do the back up for you. Let's turn you over. There you go. Put your head to one side, sweetie. There we go. Yeah, and that's why the smoke alarm had gone off because the pan had burnt a hole nearly in the bottom of it. It was black. Oh my God, I've got to try and clear all this up before they get home. So I turned the potatoes on after I'd wiped the top of the stove and um, got those going, washed all the tiles down, washed all the sides down. I didn't know what to do. There you go, sweetie, there he is. You look so cute in that, don't you? Um, yeah, and uh, I thought, what am I going to do with, with this pan? Because it was just burnt, you know. It was. I thought, there's no way I'm going to get... The um, the dirt, you know, the the mark off the bottom of this pan. So I thought, well, I'm going to have to hide it so they don't see it. So, <laughs> oh my goodness, it was so funny. I'd already got the, like the mop and hit the smoke alarm to stop the alarm going off because they drive you crackers, don't they? Absolutely drive your crackers. Let's put your little socks on, darling. There we go, and we'll roll them down. That's it. There's a good boy. He's such a sweet boy. And um, I'd managed to do everything, you know, get everything going that was supposed to be going. And, um, and so I kind of concentrated where I was going to hide this pan. So I thought, well... Oh, the only thing I can do is chuck it away, really, because I can't use it again. I don't know how I was going to explain that I needed a new pan. That was going to be awkward. But I thought I'd work that out another time. Just pop his little shoes on. There we go, darling. Let's get your little shoes on. I love these little shoes. They fit perfectly. And... Um, Anyway, I put it in a bag, the saucepan, and managed to hide it, in, you know, pick some things out of the dustbin and put it underneath, hid it, you know. <laughs> All through playing the scenes. Oh, it's terrible. If you could have seen the state of that kitchen. Oh, it was really bad. There you go, Sydney. Let's put your little hat on. Oh, he's so adorable. I do love hats on babies. So, of course, I had to make some more gravy. And by then, the men were nearly home. Um, so, but I'd managed to tidy everything up and 
hid the saucepan and used another pan. Oh dear. It it seems funny now when I think about it. But it was not funny at the time. I was trying to fly about everywhere and oh dear and hide in that pan. I just pretended I'd lost it. I couldn't find my pan and I'd have to use another one. And I hate lying, but I had to lie. But I did tell I did tell my son and he laughed. He thought it was hilarious that I'd got so hooked on the Sims that I'd forgotten all about the tea and turned the wrong gas ring on. Oh my goodness. So there's my gorgeous little Sydney, all ready for Easter. Doesn't he look adorable in that? Sweet little boy. Such a sweet little boy. And I'll show you Mary Ann because I went into town yesterday and I went into M and Co. And I bought her this lovely little Easter outfit. And it's a green dungaree. And I've put a white long sleeve onesie underneath it. It's got a little white collar. And it's green. It's a lovely mint green. And it's got little white flowers on it. And it's got a big mummy white duck, embroidery anglaise, with a yellow beak, but she's white. And next to her is a little yellow chick that's looking up at her. And there's two pink flowers with green stems and leaves. And I just loved it. I fell in love with it. It's got little frills round the ankles and it's got a very pretty hat but these hats are always too big so I put her a little headband over the top of it with some daisies that I'd made and I thought that went really well with it and I think she looks totally adorable in that what do you think I think she looks beautiful let's lighten you up a bit <laughs> I actually bought it and I thought Oh, that's just going to fit Mary Ann perfectly. That's newborn size. They didn't actually have any tiny baby in um, M and Co yesterday. I did ask the lady at the till because I prefer that they fit nicer. But um, she said, "Oh, we don't get a lot of call for that anymore. Babies grow out of them too quickly." And I said, "Well, mine don't because they're dolls." And she gave me such a look. She really did. That's the first negative um, reaction I've had. But yeah. So look at my sweet Sydney. And I hope you enjoyed listening to my Sims catastrophe. Where I got so involved. I just played all day. And it was very naughty. And I nearly burnt the house down as well. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank goodness for smoke alarms. So say mwah. Bye-bye, everybody. Sydney loves you. And bye-bye from me. Mwah. Love you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>